Welcome to the Media Nut, where we crack open a variety of communication or media related terms so that you don't have to be the dumb squirrel. And I'm your host, Hannah, breaking from the city of Mumbai. So, the nut to crack. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, the term to crack for today and the upcoming episodes is gonna be. Scopophilia. Yes, you heard it right. Scopophilia is what we are going to talk about for this whole week. We will explore all about scopophilia from definition to theories to examples and everything in between. All right, let's get into it, shall we? So, what is this term scopophilia all about? Sounds scary, right? Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. It's actually pretty simple. Just separate this word into two terms. Scopo, which means looking, and philia, which means fondness or an abnormal love for something. It's that simple, isn't it? But when we look at this term through the media lens, a new world opens up. The definition of scopophilia differs depending upon the source you refer to. But nevertheless, almost every definition revolves around the following four key words. One is pleasure. Two is looking. Three is objectification. And four is voyeurism. So keeping these four words in our mind, Let's look at a few sought out definitions of scopophilia. So the first being from our all star superstar source. Hmm. Yes, you guessed it right. It's from our Google teacher and her definition is as follows. Okay, Google. Give me a good definition of scopophilia. According to cla.purdue.edu. S-C-O-P-O-P-H-I-L-I-A, literally, the love of looking. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let's look at a few more definitions, shall we? According to the book, Media, Culture and Society, an introduction by Paul Hodkinson, Scopophilia is defined as the gaining of pleasure by subjecting others to a voyeuristic, objectifying gaze. Mm, now I say, let's hold on to this particular definition and continue our journey to understand scopophilia. Why so? Because our teachers have always said, never refer to Google teacher. So... <clears throat> Moving forward, so when we talk about scopophilia, we should actually thank two very important people because both of them have contributed a lot towards the exploration, analysis and understanding of this term. Now, let's clap our hands for the founding father of psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud and British film theorist, Laura Mulvey. Wait, wait, before we move on, hmm, I have something to confess. Will you believe when I say scopophilia is actually the result of childhood curiosity? No, right? Well, Sigmund Freud is in my team regarding this. Three essays on the theory of sexuality is one of the most famous works of Freud, wherein he advances his theory of sexuality. He stated that scopophilia is actually a constituent of sexuality instinct and he drew multiple connections with childhood. Freud centered 
has certain examples on the voyeuristic activities of children and their infantile desire to look and make sure of the hidden and restricted this includes a number of behaviors some of them were curiosity regarding primal scene concern about others bodily and genital functions and etc freud puts forward the view that this infantile sexuality may be thought of not simply as an immature stage that must be passed through but also as a pool of psychic experiences upon which mature personality can actually continue to draw so that means according to this it seems like scopophilia is well maybe not that harmful and is just an active form of looking right but no he later on goes to tell that this looking out of curiosity turns into a look which is objectifying others to a predominant controlling like a puppet not really a puppet though and scanning like a scanner gaze add in a little ego and voila a creepy erotic not so good look is ready and if this behavior becomes intense it gives birth to a number of things um for example perversion to be caught and hit peeping toms and last but not the least either insanity or mental disorder which is the scopophilic person's retreat from the concrete world of reality into an abstract world of fantasy well this is what freud says about scopophilia in human development now you'll ask me hana you didn't even say a word about media here well for that i suggest you listen to the second episode of scopophilia where the media map will take you on a tour to learn more about scopophilia within the wonderful land of films we will touch upon topics like laura malway's male gaze and maybe female gaze too so don't miss out thanks for joining in and sayonara